quite a bit of progress since last time on this build. Um, I've continued cladding everything with plastic hard panels um, and occasionally that's not a panel that's a, a coach line this is one as well I always use these on my builds you know they give you lovely uh, straight thin strips not very thick um, and when once painted they look like panel lines so yeah this is the rear half this is the middle where the wings are going to be and I've just gone along because I'm assuming that Ian Schoons's take on the Liberator would it would be as big as the Liberator we saw in the show um, the detail has got to be kept quite small um, in his sketch it's nearly all panel like oh excuse me it's nearly all panel lines um, but I am putting small piece pieces on here and there as you can see this is a one of my cable tie strips and I'm using an awful lot of Tamiya parts that is from the Tamiya Pink Panther uh, World War II Desert Jeep. What else have we got? Ignore that, let's just paint this on some plastic card. Uh, that's a tiddlywink. Um, these are these yellow bits are leftover pieces from that Thunderbird's mole that I've made. Uh, part of the internal workings for the gearings for the motorized bits that I never used. So use them now. The reason we've got a bit of colour here is because I've I've done the landing bays. All right, this section removes, ready for me to mask it up later. But I've painted a, uh, the landing bays. I don't know how much of that is actually going to be visible uh, when all done, but uh, I know it's there. Uh, yeah, again on the sides, I'm slowly building up details on this. The detail will be bigger. Um, I see it a, a, akin to um, the Star Destroyer in Star Wars, which I think was an influence, at least for this shape, this part of Ian Scudens' uh, design, in that the sides are busier than the top surfaces. So this is nearly all going to be panel lines. Uh, this is going to be uh, chunkier, more detail, but not too big, because as I say, the scale of this ship I think is meant to be immense. So I'm not, I'm not having a huge star crash type thing where you just spray a load of spray glue and chuck kit bits at it. Um, I'm trying to keep them quite close to the hull. But I'm busying it up. You've got the old Pink Panther bit there as well. Another source is the Tamiya 88mm gun which uh, I use tons of because you've got the loads of these interesting parts. Um, the main thing to do with the rear is this, which when done will be the energy source. Okay, As you know, the Liberator has got a ball with white stripes on it. Um, this is my take. You never saw the back of it in Ian Schoons' sketch. So what I've done is this is actually a, an old air freshener can to which uh, <clears throat> I've attached a piece of sparkly card that I got from the hobby shop. And again, more coach lines. I did them in varying uh, gauges all the way down. Put some black on there as well. And I've just, as you can see here, I've just boxed them in. I've got to busy all this up, busy all this up, all the way around. So that's going to be the rear of it. And then, sorry, there's somebody at the door who's distracting me. This is the front, this is the prow of the, of the Liberator ship. I've cut these areas out. And the reason I've cut these areas out, originally, I think I said in part one, I was going to have them as um, recessed areas, like on the Millennium Falcon, with lots of busy bits. But then I was thinking, no, at, at the scale this ship is meant to be, um, that's not going to look quite right. So what I've actually done is I've cut out these spaces bigger and the plastic card panels that I'm going to be putting on over there will be inlaid at the back by some um, gold card and a piece of clear plastic over the top to emulate the gold bands that you see on the, on the uh, final version of the Liberator. Okay, again, small pieces, Tamiya, 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 Tamiya. Just going along, that's not Tamiya, that's uh, space shuttle kit, little engine nozzles, uh, Tamiya, uh, cable tie, panel lines, airfix I think, Tamiya, can't remember, coach lines, etc. Et Just going along, 
milk bottle cop, uh, top. Um, that's a spare track off of that mould kit, actually. Tamiya 88mm, Tamiya 88mm. It's a fantastic kit, the, um, the Tamiya 88mm. If you, if you, if you want a, a kit that will give you loads of uh, spare parts, go for it. This side's not as detailed up as the other side, um, but I'm getting there, Tamiya 88mm. Um, and I've also done the front prongs, um, but I've forgotten to bring that downstairs. So that's where I am. I'm just continuing and continuing, just adding more and more detail. Um, yeah, that's where I am today.